so here's a T2 solution here at All Winner. So what, uh, this is for the car. Right, right, right. So this kind of represents our, our, our expansion into car automotive solutions. So this is an in-dash unit it's based on our T2 chip, dual-core chip. This is cool because we've done a lot of customization on this solution. So this supports a lot of things like voice commands. So you can add something like this. It's a, this is actually an app in China, but you can, you can touch that and bring up voice command, control the unit with voice. Um, you can also cast to this. So you can actually look down here. If you look down here, you see one touch navigation, voice command. Apologies for the spelling there. But uh, this is wireless link technology, which is basically the same thing as casting. So you can cast from the phone to the, uh, to the device, kind of what you saw on Android Auto. Uh, last year, Google Auto. Is the T2 uh, is shipping? Yeah, this actually, this this unit, this solution has already been mass production. It's already shipped. All right. So a bunch of cars, maybe especially in China, have it already. Yeah, yeah. There's been a few a few vendors in China that have shipped that. All right. And what are we looking at here? Additionally, this is uh, this is actually a rear view rear view mirror with built-in car DVR solution. This just kind of shows you going here to the menu. No number of different features on this. You have the uh, Obviously, you have the DVR feature. Obviously, because it's not hooked up to a car, you don't see much here. But yeah. the camera's on the left side. Go on to um, speed warning. So something like this, this can actually detect radar. So it actually integrates the function of a radar detector into it. Yeah. So depending on what the region, maybe something like this isn't compliant. Kind of depends on what region, what country this yeah. is shipping into. All right. Cool. And there's even more uh, car solution. Is it the same T2? Yeah, so same solution here. Just a different kind of a different head unit design, different ID. So uh, the the car is going to be a big market for all winner. Yeah, it's a market you have to go into because it's a natural extension of of, ta of the tablet market, right? If you look at the tablet market, it's basically a display. It's it's a smart connected display. And what you're going to start seeing in cars over time is, you know, kind of the terminal in the car starting to become a smart display, right? You can either transfer content from your smartphone or you can, you know, have the terminal itself, the display, be you know, natively connected to the internet. So we see that as kind of an expansion from, you know, tablets into, uh, into the car.